Here, Mama, let me get it, Mama. Mama, you gonna tear it up? I just bought the thing with my S and H green stamps. Don't get off. I, I got it. Just keep your hands off of it. How y'all doing today? My name's Lester L. Ledbetter, and the L stands for freedom. And you and I, we're gonna make America special again. That's right. Now I'm gonna be making some videos, cause I'm gonna tell you why. Because America needs good talking to. And ain't nobody better than talking. Get things straight. Unless they're ill led better. And I'm going to be talking about some serious issues today. First one. We're going to talk about race relations. Now you and I both know. The races ain't supposed to be relating. You know what I'm saying? But some of y'all out there got the jungle fever. Okay. You got too many breakfast tacos on a Tuesday. Now you got to go get you some. Okay. Because you and I both know. We did not have a race problem in this here country till we elected Barack Hussein Obama. For that hundred years, everybody got along just fine. Nobody was complaining. Everybody knew their place. Everything was just fine. Now we got people out there riding. We got them protesting. We got them blocking highways. We got them throwing bricks through a Starbucks window. Let me tell you something right now. You don't throw a brick through a Starbucks window. That right there is holy ground for white people, okay? We pray to the almighty call for God. You do not do that. You've crossed a line, as far, a red line as far as I'm concerned, okay? And I don't understand all this anyway, the blocking the highways, all the complaining, the colored lives matter. I don't get it. If you don't like it here, why'd you come here in the first place? Yeah, yeah. Answer that one for me. Get back to me if you can, huh? Hit me up on Facebook page. Let me know the answer to that one, okay? And I see my friends out there talking about, you see on the TV, they done shot that unarmed black man. I'm like, hey, I saw the video. He had arms, okay? And if it's not the colored people, it's the damn Mexicans. Okay, let's make sure we're on the same page right here. There's only two kind of Mexicans. You got your illegals and your undocumented. Okay, but we solving that problem right now. Trump building the wall. Donald J. Trump, president, is building the wall. And he said he's going to build it 5 feet, 10 feet, 20 feet, 30 feet tall. He might even put a roof, roof over it, come down on the other side. That way they want to climb over that wall. They can have a wall across so they get to Canada. Then it's their problem. I'm fine with that. Let Canada solve that problem. But I'm going to tell you, the problem right now is we ain't got no wall. And these Mexicans can see our freedoms. That's right. They're over there like, ooh, is that some Amer that's American freedom. That's what they want is they want our freedom. So that's why you got to build a wall. You got to build it tall so the Mexicans can't see over. And if you don't want Mexicans to see over a wall, you're going to have to make it really tall, like at least five, five and a half feet tall. And I know what you're thinking. Lesser, that gets that stuff from coming over here. But what are we going to do with the ones that's already here? Well, don't you worry a damn bit. Lester L is going to take care of that for you, too. What you do is you have a quinceanera, okay? You have it down there by the wall. Maybe get you a couple of kegs of beer, maybe a piñata, a little stick to hit that piñata with. Start playing that Tejano music, okay? You know, people ever told me, oh, you're going to love it. It grows on you. Don't grow on me. It hadn't grown on me a damn bit, I'm be honest with you. Sounds like somebody standing at the top of the stairs. Somebody kicked them down with an accordion. Next thing you know, every fifth step, they're screaming out, Carter Zone, which I think is Mexican for Shihad. Okay, but anyway, you get them down there drinking at the wall. They start passing out. When they pass out, you get your circus cannon. That's right, I said it. You get your circus cannon. Once they passed out, you stuff them down in that circus cannon. Then you got their relatives standing on the other side of the wall with one of them big tortillas like the firemen and the policemen see they catch those people with. Okay, now I know what you're thinking. Flour corn don't matter none. It's going to catch them. Okay, once they're over there with that tortilla and you got their family ready, then they start screaming at them, Red Rover, Red Rover, send Consuela right over to poop. There she goes, and they got her. That's how you're going to solve the problem right there. That's how you fix the race relations. Don't take a while. We got to have to do them one at a time. But it don't matter because Trump's going to take care of it. Me and you's going to take care of it. Why? Because Lester L. L stands for freedom. Lester L. Ledbetter. Going to help you solve these problems. Going to talk to America like this. Be talked to, ladies and gentlemen. Me and you. We are going to make America special again. Y'all have a good day, and I'll be hollering at you in the future, all right? Mama, go ahead and turn it off now. Mama, damn it, she's passed out. Mama, I can't do everything.